The U.S. Supreme Court may decide whether to accept an Edmund soldier's case for review to determine the perimeters of self-defense in combat zones. It's First Lieutenant Michael Behenna making his final appeal. Behenna currently serving a 15-year sentence in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, for killing an Iraqi who was believed to be a terrorist cell informant. During his 2009 trial, the 29-year-old soldier said he shot the Iraqi in self-defense after the man threw concrete at him and lunged for his weapon. Joining me now from Washington, D.C. with more on this case is Chris Castile. Chris, thanks for your time. You bet, Dave. The Justice Department voiced their concerns about the case. Why do you feel the Supreme Court justices should reject the case? The, what the Justice Department said is that this case was decided basically on the specifics of, of uh, the Bahena case. You know, they, that the uh, original court martial, the, the trial, um, looked at the specifics, found him guilty of unpremeditated murder in a combat zone. An Army appeals court looked at it, upheld that conviction, and the highest military court, um, uh, highest military appeals court looked at that conviction and upheld it. And that there's no reason for the U.S. Supreme Court to review this case because it doesn't offer any broad, you know, issues that, that this court, that the high court needs to resolve. And that's, that's really what the Supreme Court typically gets involved in is cases that have kind of broad application and you know they don't generally take cases because some mistake was made at a trial they you know they expect the lower appeals courts to take care of those trial errors and they will take a case when when there there's like a split among all of the circuit appeals courts in the country about a, a certain kind of issue of you know legal approach to something so here what um, Bahena's legal team is trying to convince the court is that there is a broader issue here the what the appeals courts and the, the military appeals courts have said about the Bahena case is that he lost his right to defend to to claim self-defense because he was pointing a gun at an unarmed man and that he couldn't then claim that he had to shoot that man in self-defense because he, you know, he first created the situation and was armed, was essentially using, you know, deadly force um, in, in the first place. So what Behenna's attorney say is that you, you can't let a judgment like that stand from the, from the military appeals court because it's basically saying no soldier in a kind of unconventional warfare can draw his gun and then defend himself, um, you know, unless the, the, the other person can escalate the situation somehow. And they're, they're saying, you know, Behenna's legal team says that's insane. These guys are in situations all the time where they have to have their uh, weapons drawn, that they have no idea sometimes what they're confronting, but that the military appeals court has, has essentially issued a, quote, rule that says that, that soldiers can't draw their guns and, and then claim self-defense. So that's what they're trying to get the court to accept this case on that broad issue of self-defense in these combat type situations. And again, the Justice Department, uh, which represents the administration in Supreme Court matters, the Solicitor General's office is saying, look, this isn't that broad question. That, that's not what this court said. All they said was Behenna did not have the right to do this. Wow, it's, it's complicated matters, but you did a nice yeah. job of, of defining the, the three situations here. Hey, so when will we learn if the high court will review the case? So what, what the, what the um, Supreme Court does is that, you know, what periodically, sometimes weekly when they're in session, is that they will have a conference. Um, and 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 cases that, that that they believe are worth discussion, they will discuss these cases in conference and decide whether to review them. Um, generally, it takes four of the nine justices to vote to review a case, to grant a petition of certiorari, as it's called. So they have scheduled, the court has scheduled the Behenna case for its May 30th conference. So we may know uh, within days after that May 30th conference uh, whether they plan to review uh, Behenna's case. And there are a lot of elements to review in this case. Chris, thanks for your time today. You bet, Dave. And if you want to research more on this case, you can do so online at newsok.com. And more coverage can be found, of course, in the Oklahoma.